Nine holes in nine minutes, Coach Lemon here. I've got a different game today. I'm gonna to see if I can break 40, but I'm gonna break 40 by cheating. Now the things I'm gonna do are four different things. Most people play this when they're playing a normal casual round with their buddies, and sometimes people play within the league. So first of all, on the first tee, if I hit a bad shot, I'm gonna take a breakfast ball, take it again. I'm gonna take two mulligans during my nine hole round. I'm gonna give myself improved lies, I'm gonna improve the lie, preferred lies anywhere on the court, and I'm also going to give myself gimmies when my putt is within the putter length. Let's get going. Let's see if we can break for it. All right, I hit that little right. I'm going to go ahead and take a breakfast ball. All right, a little better. Well, I didn't need to take a breakfast ball, but uh, I definitely want to improve my lie because it is, it's a tough one. All right, I'm not exactly sure. I've got about 125 out. I hit pitching work. Good enough to get there. Close. Uh, I left it about 10 or so yards short. So I've got to get up to there. I'm gonna hit a lob wedge because I've got to get over that knob and get it to stop. Go just a little bit more. All right, not too bad. Have a putt. 25 to 30 foot left. All right. All right, well, that's a gimme. It's within the leather, so. All right, on to the next. All right, not the start we wanted. We'll take a bogey. Um, boy, it's totally different when you get to improve your lie and uh, get to get gimme putts. So should be exciting. All right, par three. It's about 120 yards, 110. I usually hit my 52 degree wedge, and I don't think the wind's coming at me, so I'm going to hit that same thing. So let's get it. All right, I switched to pitching wedge. I got the wind coming at me a little bit. Go a little bit. Go a little bit. Go. Oh, just short. Boy, took too much off the pitching wedge. All down here. Just came up a little short. Bounce back down the hill. Got to go up to the pin over there. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go. I've got 12 feet uphill, left to right, for par. Boy, that was close. Man. Well, crap, that putt was so close. Should have gone in. Um, all right, we got a par four. It's 330, I think it is. Uh, no, 350. 350. And uh, I'm going to hit my driver uh, again because I've got two mulligans. Got to use them sometimes. So. All right, got about 96 yards left. I'm going to, well, improve my lie. Gonna hit a 56 degree wedge. Way short. Way short. Like way short. Came up annoyingly short. And let's go up there. See if we can get this up and down for par. All right, I got six feet left. Uphill, right to left for par. Hmm. All right, great putt on the last hole. I love this little par four. It's only about 267 to the green. With a good drive, I can get really close, if not on the green. Left, go, go. Kick up there. All right. Ooh, kicked over to the right. Now, I know what you're thinking. John, where did you get this gorgeous Masters shirt from? And I'll tell you. My wife's been buying and selling things on this cool website, called Poshmark. Um, I'm going to put a link below. You guys get $10 off. She gets a few extra bucks to buy me new golf shirts, but they have great used, pre-owned, and new with tag clothes that you can get for a lot cheaper than you can get it at the store. So this is a shirt that I there, that she got for me, which is a gorgeous master shirt, and they have all kinds of other golf stuff. And check out the link below to get an extra $10 off your first order. Oh, after a great tee shot, I've got maybe... The pins up here. I've got maybe 20 feet or so up to 
the hole. Go, 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 go. All right, great shot. Five feet left for birdie. Par five, 520 yards, and hit driver at those pines on the left, let it fade down to the right. The good news is I still have two mulligans left. So that's pretty good. Got some of our fine feathered friends out here cheering me on. Now my best drive off to the right. Uh, we've got it laying down. Uh, don't worry about that. I'll fluff that puppy up. But more importantly, I've got like 250 to the green and I've kind of got to go around this tree. So basically I'm just going to cut a, uh, actually I'm going to go ahead and cut a three wood and see how close we can get to the trees or to the green around the trees. Cut, 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 cut. Well, I guess I was farther back. I think I hit my drive about 250. So I had about 275 in. I hit that three wood about 200. Um, and I got about 75 yards left. So I'm going to hit my 56 degree wedge and see how close we can get this and maybe make back to back birdies. Go, go. All right, great shot. Got 15 feet left for birdie. Pretty straight putt. Let's make it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, just short. Darn, had it. Wow, almost made the birdie putt, but that's okay. Good solid par, one over through five holes. Uh, we've got this cool little par three. It measured about 133, um, but it's uphill, I don't know, 20 yards or so. Uh, also, there's a backstop behind the green. So if you hit a little long, it'll hit that and trickle back down. So I'm gonna hit eight iron and uh, see how close we can get. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, just short, dang it. Now I know some of you are thinking, John, you have two mulligans left. You're playing the sixth hole. You missed the, sh the green on a short par three. Why didn't you use a mulligan? Well, I'll tell you what, my friends, if I use a mulligan and get a hole in one, it's just, I just can't take that chance. There's no way I could do that to myself. So we've got this lie over here and we've got the green up there and I'm just gonna chip up with a little 56 degree. Pretty good chip. Six feet left for par. It's kind of a tricky line. Man, tricked myself. Tricked it. Ah, uh, shoot. This is just a short par four, uh, just 300 yards. I can't quite get there with a drive because it's uphill. Um, I usually just hit my four hybrid out in the fairway and have a nice short wedge in. All right, I could take a mulligan, but I think I'm gonna save it for the last two holes. After laying way back with a not so good tee shot, I've got a seven iron in hand. Go baby, go baby, go baby, go. Oh, caught a tree. I ended up hitting the top of this tree here, which would have been the pins back there. So it actually would have been pretty close, at least on the front edge of the green, but it's down here with the pin back there. I'm chipping with a uh, 52 degree wedge, a little uphill lie. Actually don't have to improve my lie on this one. Go a bunch. Go, 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 go. So I missed the green way short, so I'm gonna take one of my mulligans. That'll leave me with one left. That should be better. Ah, still left it short, jeez. And chip with a nine iron. Dang, didn't hit eight iron if I was gonna hit that soft. Eight feet left for bogey. Okay, that'll work, good shot. Made a good putt for bogey, uh, three over, two holes left. This is a short par four, it's kind of tricky though, the green's in a, in a tough spot. Uh, and then we have a par five to finish with. So I'd like to make a par and a birdie to finish up at two over and break 40. So let's hit a good drive and go from there. I've got 61 yards into the screen. 
I'm going to improve my lie, of course. And then I'm going to hit a little 52 degree wedge and just bounce it up there. The greens are a little hard today because they're dry. I'm going to bounce it up there and get close. Looks pretty good. Sit down a little. All right, a little long. All right, I got about 25 feet left. I'm just off the green. Ball sitting up nicely, and I'm just going to go ahead and putt it. Get it, sit down. Hmm, kind of popped out of there pretty quick. All right, I got five feet left, a little right to left for par. It's a must make situation. Roll it in, nice and smooth. All right, one hole left for three over par. We need a par or better to break 40. And the good thing is, I've saved myself. One mulligan. So if I hit a bad tee shot, we can do it again. All right, cut in the corner a little bit. Perfect. All right, good drive. Uh, I am in the rough, but don't worry, get fluff it up. Cheating today. And I got 205 in, and I'm going to hit my hybrid, four hybrid, and uh, see if I can just get it to bounce up on the green. I'm not going to try to fly it there. I'm going to take a little off the four hybrid and get it up by the green. Way left. Oh, did a good kick right. Right, about 45 yards left. Uh, the greens are a little hard, so I don't think I can stick one from here. And I'm just going to hit my 52 degree wedge in front of the green and bounce it up by the hole and see if we can get a good bounce. Go. Yeah, so that's way short. So uh, we will uh, try that again. I had to use an eight iron this time. Get basically the same shot, just a little lower trajectory. Eh, still a little short, much better though. All right, 25 feet off the green. Birdie. Close. Well, there you go. Nine holes in nine minutes. I finally broke 40 and I had to cheat to do it. So leave a comment below on what your guys do like in your league play. Do they move the ball, uh, improve their lives? Are you, are you able to take a breakfast ball? Are you able to take a mulligan? Uh, do you get how far out do you guys give a gimme putt? Is it three feet? Is it within the leather? I'm curious to see how everybody else plays uh, when they do some approved um, improvements on their golf game. So like, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, coachlemon.com. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day.